Hey Darlos, welcome to the channel. So today I'm going to create this festive look right here. It's a very, very simple look, which you can surely, surely recreate. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Alright you guys, so I've already prepped my face. Now we are kind of approaching towards winter. So don't forget to prep your face well before you start off with your makeup. First up, I'm going to apply primer and for that I'm going to use the Swiss Beauty Real Makeup Base Highlighting Primer in the shade Golden Tint. <laughs> Next, I'm going to apply foundation. I'm going to mix two different foundations. So one is Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the shade 330 Toffee. And another one is the Rimmel Match Perfect Foundation in the shade 303 True Nude. <music> blend the foundation I'm going to use a beauty blender it's a damn beauty blender foundation is nicely blended next I'm going to go in with concealer this is the Maybelline fit me concealer in the shade 40 caramel it's kind of a perfect match for my skin tone I have applied the concealer in all the areas where I usually apply concealer and now I am going to blend this in with the same beauty sponge. Next I am going to contour my face and for that I am actually going to use a foundation. So this is the My Glam Pose HD foundation in the shade Espresso. I'm going to use it as a contour. Contouring is absolutely optional. I have a very round face. That's the reason these days I'm going for contour. But if you are okay with, you know, with your face shape, you don't want a more uh, perfect chiseled face, then definitely you can skip contouring. <music> the contour in all the usual areas and now I am going to blend it with the same beauty blender. Always remember to mix your forehead contouring with your hairline. Then only it is going to look natural. For blending my nose contouring, I'm going to use my ring finger. Next, I'm going to powder my face and for that, I'm going to use the My Glam Pose HD Banana Powder. Now, before I apply this powder under my eyes, what I'll do is, I'll first... Try to I'll first try to blend all the creases that I have under my eyes otherwise the powder will sink into that crease and it's going to look really odd powdered my face I have not powdered my entire face what I have done is I have applied the powder on my t-zone and also have cleaned up these areas so that my contour looks more sharper 
next i'm going to fill in my brows and for that i'm going to use this product this is the blue heaven artisto brow definer so it has a spoolie on one side and a retractable pencil on the other side <music> Next, I'm going to move on to the eye makeup. Now, today I'm not going to use any eyeshadow. What I'll use is I'll use a Kajal pencil. So this one is from My Glam. It's their Super Foods Kajal in the shade Intense Purple. So I want to go for something different. So I chose this one. If you want to go for the classic black color, you can go. There is also other color like brown. We have blue, we have green. So these days so many colors are out there in the market. So I wanted something like this. I was feeling something like this. So I'm going for this one. It comes in the retractable form, which is super convenient to use. So what I'll do is I'll apply the Kajal very close to my upper lash line. <laughs> Next, I'm going to take an angular brush and I'm going to smudge this. I'm going to apply this kajal once again to increase the intensity. So, so far I'm happy with how the kajal is looking like. Next, I'm going to apply the same kajal in my lower lash line, halfway. And again, I'm going to blend it with the same angular brush. Now we have not applied the kajal in the inner part so what I'm going to do is whatever is left in the brush I'm going to run it through on the inner part. I'm taking that same kajal I'm going to tight line my upper waterline. And also my lower waterline. Now I'm going to define my inner corner like so. If I do this, it kind of, you know, gives that almond shape to the eye, which looks really beautiful. Next, I'm going to go in with mascara, and for that, I'm using the Benefit Roller Lash. So I'm going to apply two coats of the same mascara as I'm not wearing falsies. Next, it's time for bronzing, blushing and highlighting. And for that, I have something very special with me. It's the My Glam Chisel It Palette. So this is how the outer packaging looks like very very stunning package now the inside is very beautifully packaged so that the product doesn't you know get damaged so i'll just take out the palette this is how the palette looks like can we just take a moment to appreciate how the packaging is if i open this up we are getting a very beautiful mirror over here so i'm going to use this palette today to bronze blush and highlight my face now i am somebody who is always in a hunt for these kind of palettes because you know they are very travel friendly you can just pour them in your bag and you're good to go you don't need to carry separate separate bronzer blush and highlighter so this is a product that i will surely recommend you guys because these products are really versatile so first I'm using the bronzer shade to bronze my face. This palette is in the shade face value. So I'm applying the bronzer over here. 
and I'm just going to blend it in my hairline. These products are pigmented dye. I'm basically applying the bronzer in all the places where I have applied the contour. Now whatever is left in the brush, I'm just going to run it through my nose. Next I'm using this blush from the palette. Okay. So the blush is also pigmented. I want a lifted kind of look so that's why I have not applied the blush directly on the apple of my cheek. I have applied it on this area so that it looks more lifted. this highlighter from the palette it is a champagne kind of highlighter which will look really good in Indian skin tone is a lipstick so the lipstick that i'm using is from my glam it's the lit liquid matte lipstick and i am using the shade coasted completed the look with a neck piece, a pair of earring and a bindi. Now you can style up as per to your choice. This is what I have went for. Now for the lip shade, I have worn, I have went for a darker shade. But if you want, you can also go for a nude lip that would look more flattering. So with this, it's a wrap. I hope you have enjoyed watching this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Leave a comment in the comment box and also share it with your friends and family. So, bye bye. I love you all and I'll see you in my next one. Bye bye.